What's up guys, Black Hauls here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2020 for the 2021 Italia Basque Country or formerly known as the uh, Tour al País Vasco, the race in Basque Country north of Spain. Six stages and as every year very very intricate and tough parkour starting this time with an inaugural time trial which is not something you see often on Basque Country. We'll then have a stage between Zaya and Gestao, uh, with again a lot of hills, um, repetitive finishes, which are very um, um, characteristic of uh, the region. A stage between um, Amurio and El uh, Ermualde, with uh, a climb average gradient 12.5, max of 17 for 3 kilometers. Vitoria Gastage. Uh, which is a very uh, famous starting town on the Vuelta towards um, Ponda Ribia, uh, with again two massive hills towards the finish. Um, a sprint one, just for like, I don't know, someone like Luca Mesgech. I don't know if he's there, we'll take a look at the start list because it's a mad one. Um, but yeah, just the cool sprint stage and obviously the um, very famous stage now towards Arate with the climb of uh, Ushartza just before. So yeah, we're going to see how it goes. Uh, as I said, the start list is absolutely packed. It is massive. Uh, we'll dive in a bit more uh, during the stages. Um, but this is like a Grand Tour kind of vibe. I'm, I'm getting massive Grand Tour vibes. Um, but the team I'm going to go for is going to be EF, represented by Hugh Carthy and Sergio Iguita. On paper, it's probably not the most gifted team for that kind of finishes. Uh, I probably could be better off with like, I don't know, Bora. Uh, or, or group of FDG, but these are teams I've currently planned to be picked later in the future. So yeah, we're going for Yukarthi Guita. Also, some of the uh, riders haven't been updated yet. <coughs> Esteban Chavez, but uh, in the future, the world's will have better stats. In the meantime, Hugh Carthy, Sergio Guita, Magnus Court Nielsen, Jonathan Caicedo, Diego Camargo, James Whelan, and Alex House is the lineup for EF Education Neighbor as we take on Itsulia Bass Country. I forgot to mention it, uh, but a uh, big, big shout out to a uh, man like Emre99 for making the, um, the parkour. All right, he's, he's the stage maker. He's made quite a lot of the races we've seen this year. Uh, well, it's for the start list as per usual. Yeah, big ups them lot. Because they're basically legends. They're carrying the game in it. It's a bad day for Sergei Guita, uh, which sucks. It really does. Right now, uh, I've completely choked this time trial, I can't lie. Um, I mean, I have no idea how to do it. I just know you have to pace during the first climb. I'll go 81 with Sergio. I'd gone like 83 and 84 with uh, Whelan and House. And by the time like they reached this point, they had no energy left. So hopefully this can be a, a bit of a different story. Sergio is leading at the first intermediate. That's either very good or very bad. I don't know yet. Final kilometer for Sergio. I did like bring him back to 78 just in case. Uh, Cause I, I don't know how tough this hill is on the energy. Cause usually when I get there, I have no energy. Uh, all right, Sergio, I'm gonna lose, well like, yeah, 100 meters. And that's, that's 18 seconds down on Adam Yates. Fucking, <laughs> fuck's sake, man. Ah, Ineos Grenadiers are going for another one, two, three. Right, I mean, Hugh Carthy has a good day, all right, unlike Hugh Guita. We'll go 80 with, uh, with Big Hugh. Uh, I don't exactly know what I'm going to do here. But, I mean, I've got a plus three, and uh, we're going to take a look, actually, at the start list, because I said we're going to do it. Um, Primus Roglic is there for the first time with Pogacar on the race since the Tour de France. Ineos is there with Carapaz, uh, Gegenhardt, and Yates. Bora has Schachmann and Buchmann. Uh, Lotto Sudal is here. Aston has got Fulsang and former winner Yoni Zagire. Michael Woods uh, is here for Israel's Southern Nation. I thought Dan Martin was there at one point. Um, Bokemon for Trek, Mikel Lander for Bahrain, Hugh Carthy for EF, Guillaume Martin for Cofidis, Enric Mas and Valverde, the uh, latest winner of the um, GP Miguelido Endurain, is there for Movistar. Cosnefra for Aja Desert, Godu for Groupama, uh, James Snokes or Marie Van Seven and Therese Stinkley for De Conanc. Uh, Clark for Kubek Asos, Nieve, and in real life Esteban Chavez for Bike Exchange. I mean, it's, it's a massive start list. It is one hell of a start list. I, I, I'm very much surprised by it. Also, we have destroyed the first intermediate, which makes me think I'm going to lose a lot of time in the second part. 
Final kilometer for you, Garvey. We're into the final hill. Um, I'm actually gonna do something. All right. Uh, that is one clapped camera. Can I get a helicopter one? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right. Let's try to to, to gauge the the gaps. Um, just solely uh, with our eyes. You got it across the line. That is first place. Twenty five seconds quicker than Brandon McNulty. Mental. That's Mikel Landa, who's having a bit of a stinker, I can't lie. Mikel doesn't seem to be having a great day. We'll go to Amstu just for a second. One minute for Mikel Landa. 29 seconds for Bauke Mollema. Fukothi destroyed that time trial. And until Roglic and Pugachar comes, I'll be first. Woods, 135. Fulsong, 114. De Rent, 25 seconds to take second place, virtually ahead of Brandon McNulty. Schachmann, 39 seconds. Tade Pugachar, 17 seconds. Richard Carapaz. 19 seconds. Primus Roglic. 28 seconds. Hugh Carthy has won the inaugural champion in Bilbao. 18 seconds quicker than Tadej Pogacar. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, Hugh Carthy. That's my guy. And we are on the way. It's a plus one for Hugh Carthy. It's a zero for Sergei Guita. Uh, he's the American jersey of Alex House. That's, that's lovely to see. Uh, Alright, what are we saying in the finish? Max 7, average 5.4, 1.4k. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I've seen, I mean, it could have been worse. Uh, the thing is, because those are 2021 mid, 20, mid stages, the gaps are actually like the, the new gaps from Cyanide and not the old one. So, at any given time, I could lose like 5 seconds because I was a wheel behind someone else. So that's not really something that I'm, I'm willing to risk. Uh, also, we're going to have a few guys in the breakaway. Um, do I care about this stage? Nah, realistically, I'll see you for the finish. There's been a crash in the peloton involving Mark Hershey, the uh, Swissman from, uh, from UAE. Romain Convoise, Kylian Franchini, Vandenberg, Delaparte, and Bickers. Uh, wait. Is Brandon McNulty waiting for Mark Hershey? Wait, 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 wait. So they're waiting for Hershey when they've got Tadej Pugatra in the team. Okay, interesting leadership plans. I mean, when you're dropping the guy who's literally fourth in the GC, I'm, I'm not convinced that's the greatest of moves, but it's UAE. Crashes, more crashes, more crashes involving this time Guillaume Martin, the Frenchie from, uh, from Cofidis, Ruben Fernandez and Simon Geschke, and Herada are going to wait for him. Where is Guillaume Martin, actually? That's Nicolas Ede. Like, Guillaume Martin is further down. Guillaume Martin is further down the road. Um, I'm expecting him to maybe be with the group uh, Hershey, but he's not. He's not. He's um, a solid 50 seconds behind the group Mark Hershey, uh, Brandon McNulty, and Jan Polans. Okay. Okay. Jan Polans seems to be dead as well. Um, I was joining the group ahead to pace, not really because anyone was crashing, just because I'm a dickhead. That, that was, I mean, the main reasoning behind. Um, so, yeah. And I mean, the good thing, th for Mark Hirschi, right, he's got to see the positives in that. If he doesn't come back, he can't win the GC. If he can't win the GC, people can't say he's doped. I see this as an absolute win. Oh my god, oh my god, Roglic just crashed with Yates. <laughs> I was like, there's, there's one distinctive jersey that joined the group, I don't know. That, that's Carapash. Oh my god. Oh my god. Literally everyone is crashing. Literally every leader has crashed. We've got Yombo, Kofidis, Ineos, and UAE at the back. <laughs> ah, this is jokes. Ah, I'm liking this. This, this, this is quality content that right there. Um, all right. I mean, the gap is two minutes. They most likely will come back. There's no breakaway anymore. Uh, but Christophe Finkson and Ben Swift are trying to bring everyone back. They might be like the saviors for uh, Guillaume Martin and Hershey, them lot. Although Hershey probably has lost a, a, quite a, a respectable amount of energy. And under the impulsion of Magnus Court Nielsen, we're having a lot of groups uh, crash from James Whelan. One of the only guys that actually had energy <laughs> in my group. <laughs> for fuck's sake. James, go back on your bike, mate. Hameth. Hameth, it's time to go back on your bike. Okay, good. Right, James Whelan is with uh, the Yates, the Carapaces, and all that. That's good to know. Magnus Kurt Nielsen doing a stellar job at the front right now. Valverde adds his name to the list of riders that have crashed today. What's going on? Like, 
realistically, Eddie Dunbar tailgig or not? What the fuck? Is my like coefficient of I, I can't change my coefficient of crashes, but it's still the same as usual. There's a withdrawal is as much as Frank. What in the fucking well is happening? Right, we've got a few riders coming back from the main peloton. That's good. Uh, Hugh Carthy can protect. Uh, Carapaz just crashed. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? What in the fucking flying fuck? This does. This, this, it just don't make sense. This just don't make sense. Brandon McNulty crashed in A9. This man is having a, a shit day. He really is. Is he withdrawing? He is. Great day for Brandon McNulty at the office. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is ropes. This is ropes. We've started the final climb. The um, climb of La Asturiana. 6.5k, an average of 7. And a max gradient coming very soon. Um, with slopes up to 14.5%. Paris Peintre is here with Daryl Impey in a group of 54 men. Tadej Pogacar is in the wheel of Hugh Carthy. Omar Freyle accelerating on the left-hand side. Maybe for Yoni Zagiri. Amador is there. Primus Roglic is there. Yates is there. A few of the riders managed to come back despite all of the uh, previous crashes we've seen. Here's Ituria. We've got Andreas Leknesun, the leader of, um, of GSM. All right. 4.6k. Good rhythm by Hugh Carthy right now. Well, by Sergio Iwita with Hugh Carthy or for Hugh Carthy. Mark Hirschi is there. Oh. Well, hello, Mark. I kind of forgot you were here. Sergio Iwita has finished his job. Um... Oh, I'm... Is that Ben Hamann's trying to la just slack in a bit? Let's try to go for a little move with you, Carthy. This man cannot accelerate. I'm getting strong Stefan Kung vibes from that attack. Okay, let's now relay. Everyone's following? Okay, everyone's following. Uh, I'll just get the points of the climb. Bish bash bosh. Good. And I guess now, wait up. Uh, who got dropped? Honoré, Derent, Lutsenko. I mean, if we took a comeback, that'd be ideal. But I somehow don't really believe it. Mark Yashi is kind of leading here. Two riders from uh, Israel, that's quite cool to see. Come on, Sergio, mate, you definitely have the legs to come back. I, I believe in you. Okay, maybe not. Is that Baokumalama? Yeah, it is. It is Baokumalama. Well, let's follow the attack of Michael Woods then. Malama gone. Pugachar, Kosnefroy, Shachman Woods, Carthy in the wheel. Hugh Carthy is doing well. Sergio Iguita has bridged the first group alongside Peyo Bilbao. Mikel Nieve, Mark Padden, Primus Roglic has apparently attacked. I don't know where he is. Molema is up the road. Pugachar, Kosnefro are gone. Michael Woods is doing a, a very shit job, in the words of, um, of Leclerc. He's doing a shit job. 4k to go. Let's use the gel with Hugh Carthy. Higuita is going to be a key help here. If I want to come back on them lot ahead, I'm going to need my Sergio to be on top of his game. Higuita pacing 99 to try and bridge uh, the group ahead. That's Michael Woods with a very early launch. There goes Hugh Carthy. That's way too early for me. I'm actually going to try and take the wheel again of Benoît Cosnefroy. Try to rest a bit. The win today is going to be for Benoît Cosnefroy. What a dub from the Frenchman. Pugacar in second. Schachmann, Bauke Molema, Fulsang. Hugh Carthy jumps in the podium position. Sorry, in the top 10, my bad. With everyone else. Very interesting stage. Absolute mental, if I do say so myself. The crashes were too much. But just way too much crashes. Here's Valverde, who's going to lose a heap of time today. What a stage. Remember when I said that, like, even if I finished in first group, there could be gaps? Seven seconds for Kosnefroy and Pogacar. Tadej is now five seconds behind me in the GC. Plus four for Higuita, minus one for Yukarthi. No ideal. Especially on this finish, the finish of Ermualde, we're, we're going to see gaps today. We're going to see big, big gaps today. I can tell you that Higuita is winning, unless I really need to, like, protect you, Carthy. Also, if I could have, like, less crashes than yesterday, I mean, it, it, it would be great. But okay, one so far the crash, but uh, he's going to come back in the main peloton with Valverde again and Roglic. What's going on? What is going on in this race? Why are all the leaders unable to maintain their stance on a bike? Why do you have to purposefully meet the ground at a certain speed which could result in an accident, right? I, I don't see 
why it should be a thing. Also, they're actually not coming back that much <laughs> because Ineos is doing their best tactics from Bora Hansgrohe to pace when someone is down. I, I mean, hi Maxi Schachmann on Paris. <laughs> but, I mean, come on, like, you should, you're 122 down, but like, you're basically 17 bikes away. Just sprint fucking Juan Pedro Lopez. Pedro, Juan Pedro? Is it Pedro or Pablo? I think it's Pedro. But just sprint, lad. Go 99. Tom Schoens is there as well. Tobias Force. I love how Jumbo is not doing any work, even though they have pretty much Roglic here. I mean, again, tactical masterclass from Jumbo Visma. They just keep on, like, surprising me with their brains. But still done. Second hill coming up. Malquartu. Is this that? Uh, yes, Malquartu. All right. Higuita and, um, and uh, Hugh Carthy. I was going to call him James. Hugh Carthy in decent positions. 170. Uh, wait, wait. Is that Mark? Mark Hershey? Sir? Sir, I'm going to need you to come back. Okay, I've been dropped. Very well. I see that this might not be the greatest of things that have happened to me. Hmm. Okay. It's fine. We should be able to come back to the downhill portion, right? Come on. Come on. Is anyone pacing? I mean, probably like the 17 riders from Ineos. Carapace and Yates are pacing. Lads, don't. don't. Uh, you need to allow Pogacar to pace, right? You don't have to pace. That's not your job. It just isn't. Right, well, once again, Higuita is going to be pacing uh, to try and bridge the first gap. Come on, lad. I need to have uh, an, uh, the, the greatest of work you've ever done. Come on, Sergio. 2.6k to go. We're going 95. We're going to come back on Michael Woods, Ben Hermans, and Demlo. Now I need to not kill Hugh Carthy. Which on paper seems potentially easy, but trust me, it isn't. Yeah, now nah, Hugh's dying. Hugh is dying. Like, like dying. <laughs> Pogi's up the road. We're going to get blocked by Michael Woods. Ineos in the mud. They've tried to pace against me, and now they're going to finish with their two leaders behind me. Uh, you know what? You, just, you deserve it for being dickheads. Higuita is strong. Like, we're talking strong, strong. So is Tadej Pogacar in, in his defense. Higuita will go 99. It's a win for Tadej Pogacar, who takes by the same way the leading jersey of this race. Jakob Fulsong will come in second place. Guillaume Martin in third. Schachmann, Hirschi, Higuita. Hugh Carthy. If I could finish, I mean, I, I, I don't believe I will, but if I could finish in the same time as like Guillaume Martin, who gets jumped for third, actually. That would be great. Again, I don't think it's going to happen. But it would be ideal. Because I would it'd allow me to probably... Where, where's Phil Song? 115. I could probably stay second in the GC right now. But I think I'm going to get fourth. Yeah, that's what I figured. 49 seconds for Carthy. Uh, you go to 37. What does that mean GC-wise? Am I, am I podium? Okay, I'm still second. Puggy is running away with it. He's too good. Higuita makes an appearance in the top 10. Big ups. No signs of Roglic or Molema, so I'm guessing they didn't come back. I mean, I, right. I, right. One minute down after two stages. Do you know how mad that is? Zero for Carthy, plus one for Higuita. It's an interesting profile. Uh, I'll, I'll have to say, it's a very interesting profile. Um, oh, fuck's sake. Puggy also took the fucking mountain jersey from me, didn't he? I swear to God. Um, but like, how far is this? 20k? About 20k from the line, I guess. And it keeps, it keeps climbing after that. What's my downhill stat with you, Carthy? 69. Well, nice, but in this case, not nice. Um, if I want to overtake Puggy, I need to take risks. And... I don't know how I can take risks with a guy who's got 69 downhill, knowing that there's 10k of downhill portion. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a very tough situation. Like, realistically, I, could, I should have gone for Higuita as my leader. But because I won the, the fucking time troll with you, Carthay, I mean, the, I kind of had to go for you, didn't I? Right, there's another leader down. Who's that? I guess, I'm guessing it's Conrad. Yeah, okay. Conrad down. 
He's 537s down in the GC. So uh, it's not the biggest fall he'll have this week. But still, people need to stop crashing. I'm very much confused by the crash rates. More crashes. This time it's Yoni Zigure crashing with Daryl MP and Mikel Nieve. I'm just waiting to see Pugachar crash. I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's the only thing I'm waiting to see now at this point. Actually, something I didn't take a look at yesterday. How much did um, Molima lose? 245. Roglic, 337, so they finished like 3 minutes down, I guess. Something along those lines. 217 for Molima. And 303 for Roglic. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's basically what I had, uh, what I had thrown off. Uh, breakaway of 8 riders still in the lead. Let's take a look. Martin Tuzvelt, Mathieu Ladanius, Mikel Turian, Matza Kataneo, Oyer Lascano. Mauro Schmidt is uh, starting to feel the legs being very much heavy. Same for Juliansen. Uh, I mean, Juliansen has been, I'm guessing he was behind um, someone in the breakaway. He got dropped. He sprinted to try and bridge the breakaway, only to land on the wheel of Mauro Schmidt, who himself was getting dropped. I've seen better scenarios in my, in my lifetime, I can't lie to you. Um, Hugh Carthy is doing well, that's good. Higuita is dropping a few positions, but he shouldn't be too much of an issue. Also, if I could try to manage to keep Court Nielsen, which I don't think I will, but if I could, uh, that could be very good, I'd have a sprinter. Although Higuita is basically as good, if not better. And Conrad crashed again, woohoo. Henrik Mas! Enric Mas crashed, Vals Conrad is out of the race! <laughs> Fabian Groyer just crashed. I love the fact that I'm, I literally just moved to Arada and he falls. <laughs> ah, brilliant, brilliant. This is lovely. This is quality content. For fuck's sake. Camargo, go protect Sergio, thank you. Final climb of the day. Erleich, we're finally in that climb. 4 kilometers, an average of 9.5, a max of 15.2, as Pascal Conrad and Peter Seri both said goodbye to the Itulia Basque Country and will say hello to the Itulia Hospital. Um, all right, it's, a, it's not a long climb on paper. However, however, first of all, it's a very tough one. And also, it carries on after its summit. So you can't really like just go full ham, which is exactly what I'm doing. So I know for a fact I'm going to regret this at one point. Um, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Um, fuck's sake, Sergio, protect you, Carthy. Actually, no, you, Carthy, take with Sergio. Yeah, thank you, that's better. And accelerate. There's a group of six that uh, got separated from the peloton. That's good. That's actually ideal. Get in there. Magnus, wait for the peloton. There we go, I don't want you to bridge anyone. Come on, Sergio, mate. Push until that little bit. Push until that little bit. Come on, son. Actually, let's relay. Come on. Kelderman and Schachmann, you literally have every interest in the world to relay with me. Thank you. All right, Sergio can pace. Um, are they not relaying me? Are they really not going to relay me? What a bunch of pricks. You've got 30 seconds on Tadej Pogacar, you bunch of morons. Wilco, you're moving up. Schachmann, you're moving up. Guillaume Martin, you're moving up. Bauke, you're somewhere. Fuck's sake, man. Sergio, just, just, just go ham in it. There we go. I guess it's better than nothing. At least I'll take the guy that's actually able to downhill. To try and go and create gaps. Because Mark Hirschi is the one chasing us down, and Mark Hirschi is a very decent downhill guy. Uh, let's actually take the wheel of Aran Buru with Magnus Court Nielsen, just in case I forgot to do it. 10k to go. Higuita is doing God's work. He really is. Maintaining the gap to 30 seconds. I'm actually going to relay him with, with uh, Hugh Carthy as soon as we're on the flat portion. No, no, Michael Woods, no, no, there's no need to attack now. Michael! You dickhead. You royal dickhead. You massive prick. Why do you attack then? You're 4 minutes 39 down. What is the point of that move? Apart from like pissing me off. Alright, well. It ain't gonna be a win for us. At least no gaps. Which is an L. Magnus Cornelsen behind Iguita. 
Sergio can launch a sprint, you can't see being caught. Yeah, that's, that works. All right. I'm very disappointed. I'm very, very disappointed. I've, I, I worked hard to try and get a gap just to get ba uh, fucking bullied by Michael Woods. It's, it's not acceptable. I'm not having this. 1.3k. Magnus, mate, I swear to God, you better win. Magnus, you better win. Pokemon are incoming back. It's the win for Magnus Gordon ahead of Maxi Schachmann and Yates. There's not going to be... Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, hold up. 54, 102, 6 seconds. There's going to be a gap with Schachmann. Schachmann's going to overtake me in the GC, even though I did the entire work today. I hate this game so much. No gaps. Stonks, let's go. Uh, well, Schachmann still gets 6 seconds, so we're now 2 seconds away from him. Why do I feel like I'm going to lose the podium on the final day? <laughs> Kiwi tell us 30 seconds, for fuck's sake, Sergio. Sprint stage, do you expect anything apart from a win with Magnus Court Nielsen? No. I'm suspecting that this breakaway will win, which is good, right? Because I am in the breakaway. However, I am by far the worst sprinter, worst acceleration, but I'm the best climber, which doesn't really help me today, does it? But we'll see. If anyone wants to attack with me later on in the stage, I'm here. I will jump in every single wheel because there's this little hill right there, which I'm hoping could be a, a good move. But I, I don't really believe it. Uh, so they've attacked me and I got dropped. I'm trying to come back, though. I hopefully will be able to. But I don't think... Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Little hill, little hill. My guys. All right. Now that you've attacked me, I'm never, I'm ne never taking a single relay ever again. You bunch of pricks. 6k to go, though. Uh, I mean, realistically, there's no way I'm winning. The fact that I'm, I've taken the wheel of a guy who managed to get himself dropped also doesn't really um, strike me as a good decision. I'm just hoping that, like, Mata Kataneo doesn't do anything dumb, like printing. All right. Good. You see this little hill, yeah? This is where I have to make my move. This, this hill right here is where I need to make my move. At the, the toughest of slopes, which is, I'm going to believe, right now. And my chances of winning are gone. There we go. Good. Although, oh my god, if it's just corners until the end. Come on, Diego. Come on, Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. This is the shit. This is the wackiest thing I've done. Wait, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. I need to think of something. Q, take the wheel of Higuita. There might be something to do now, yeah. There might be something to be done. Uh, no, 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 no. You, you dickheads, you stop. There might be something to be done. Because of all the corners, I could potentially try to, like, jump the peloton. Only issue is that... Wait, no, that's not Puggy, right? That's Schachmann. Wait, 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 something could potentially be done here. Oh, Sergio has dropped Yucarthy big times. Come on, son. Just hold on. Uh, Sergio, get yourself drop. There we go. Gaps. There's definitely gaps. There's definitely gaps. I don't want to hear anything else. I don't fucking care about Daryl Impey or Ida Schelling. There's gaps. Could I make a late comeback? Did we get 20 seconds on Tadej Pogacar? That would be good. Also, I still won today, and I don't know how. And that's solely due because PCM's corners are fucked. Big dub from Diego Camargo, then. Get in there, son. No gaps. Fuck your mum. <laughs> there should have been gaps. Well, I mean, we, guess, uh, we take the win. That's good. One more stage between Ondarroa and uh, Arrate. Let's go. Uh, it's a plus four for you, Carthy. Good. Get in there. Um, plus five for Camargo as well. Interesting. Camargo could actually be a, a wise, uh, a decent help today. Mm hmm. How do I play this? I don't know. 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 Uh, who's in the breakaway? There's a favorite in the break. All right. What are we saying? Mikel Frolich Honore. I swear. Now, nah, every time I'm looking on a quick step, 76 hills. Fuck off. Michael Woods. Ituria. <laughs> Richard Canapas in the break, yeah? Yeah, that sounds normal. Fucking hell, man. What is this? 
So the Benetton is not a big fan of Rigel Carabas. And most of the riders in the Benetton aren't a big fan of the rhythm of the Benetton. <laughs> We've got a few guys dropped. Courtney Singh got dropped in the third cat because I didn't expect them to go 99. Um, ah, yeah, James Williams at the back, Alex House at the back, Caicedo at the back. Camargo is trying to hold on. Iguita is losing positions. Maybe just because he's being blocked. Carapaz goes again. Oh my god, Richard. I mean, realistically, are they? I think they're more scared about Michael Woods. Because, sure, Carapaz is good in that, but the guy is 10 minutes down. All right, Woods is only 4 minutes. Woods has been dropped by Carapaz. What is this stage? This makes no sense. This race is mental. Like, mental. <laughs> it's unreal. We've crossed um, uh, Aibar, oh sorry, Arate for the first time today. Um, Sergio did get dropped. Uh, however, he managed to come back because he's a, he's a big donny. Diego Camargo just crashed. Fuck. Very much not good. Um, the one day's got a plus five. Fuck's sake, man. All right, well then, we've lost a teammate. Can Tadej be next, please? Thank you. There's no breakaway anymore. However, it is once again uh, Ineos pulling in the peloton, although this time it's Armira and Sam Oman. Uh, but Carapaz is doing a lot of work. Camargo nearly came back, uh, and, and then he didn't. Uh, so I'm very much disappointed by, uh, by the development of this, uh, this storyline. Hugh Carthy there, in the way of uh, Iguita. I'm expecting to at least maintain my position to Schachmann. So second place is what I'm going for. If I can get first, then it's, it's, it's massive, right? Big, big move. But I just can't see it happening. Also, last time we did, definitely did not go over um, Arate, because Arate is, well, not the finish. So, yeah, I don't know what we're on about. Roglic has attacked, though, with Kelderman and Bauke Molema. And Wilco is done. Wait, you're telling me that Bora has Kelderman, Buchmann, and Schachmann? Stonks? And Buchmann is the one that's further down. Big stonks. Roglic appears to be somewhat decent uh, uh, when it comes to, uh, to cycling, by the looks of it. I'm quite surprised by such a, a discovery. He's a bit of a, of a newcomer in the sport. Did you know he used to do ski jump? I didn't. Aha. <laughs> Enric Mass in my wheel, De plus Yates, they're just dickheads in my wheel, right? So I can attack. Alright. 63 acceleration, come on son, let's go. That is such a weak acceleration. I'm pretty much certain you can take a Fiat Punto, remove them wheels, and it'd still be quicker than Hugh Carthy. Pookie's in my wheel. I've lost, all, I mean, I've, I've lost all my chances of doing well today. Uh, we're dropping everyone though. That's quite cool. That means Hugh is, is good. Sadly, Tadej is also not too bad. Also, Primoz! Can the lad from the tree glass stop being good at cycling? Please. Ah, uh, we need diversity. Hugh Carthy starts his effort for the sprint, and we're gonna take an L. It's a win for Primoz Roglic at the Alto de Arate, ahead of Hugh Carthy, who takes second of the stage in the GC. Tadej Pogacar in third place. Uh, Jakob Fulsang, sorry, comes home in a, a very respectable a fourth position with Valverde in sixth, big ups. Yet Martin Molema Mas Landa. Uh, Godu? Yes, Godu. Ulissi Kosnefroy, Mari Van Sevenant. And uh, a few dickheads coming along the way. It's a second place in the GC and in the stage for you, Carthy. I mean, am I disappointed? No, R realistically. I didn't come here thinking I could win the GC. After the first stage, I was like, okay, I can win the GC. Then I, then I realized I couldn't, right? Let's be honest. I'm just sad that Pogacar was good today because there was basically the minutes. The, the gap I needed to get could have been here had he finished with like Enric Mas or Landa, who aren't exactly bad riders, so it could have been a thing. Uh, but we wrap up this race with not one, but two stage wins. Actually, not two, but three. Three stage wins, a second place in the GC, we lose out on the point classification. We lose out on the mountain classifications. We lose out on the... <laughs> I'm second everywhere! I'm second everywhere! Fuck's sake, man! Fuck's sake! <sighs> disappointing. Very disappointing. I thought I had at least one, one like, alternate classification, but no! Richard Carapaz decided to just shit on my parade. Is that, it's not, it's not, it's not, no, it's to rain on someone's parade, not to shit on it, that's mad. But yeah, I mean, you know what, I've actually really enjoyed that race. That was a very fun race. And big up, Semre, again, stage maker and that.
he's a legend. Go, go give him uh, some love. Uh, I might put his Twitter down if I remember to do so. I, I may not. I don't know. Um, but yes, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, then please do leave a like down below. Let me know also in the comments who do you think will win Basque Country so that we can have some sort of a discussion going on. And I will see you in the very, very near future for yet another video. But my name is Guillaume. I have been Black Hole. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm bleeding. What the mother man need feeding? I don't wanna go bomb Them I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Stopping with the phone and dab. I'll stop a man with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip blockbuster.